Okay, on the uh, IDP film car, we put a new coolant bottle in a bounce two and a half months ago. What's happening is it's actually losing coolants in the last two weeks. Now it's done about 12,000 miles of coolants being superb, but now the level's dropping. So I think we've got either got a, a dodgy tank or a dodgy cap. So without trying to find out what the problem is at the moment, we're gonna do a pressure test on the uh, coolant bottle and I bought a bit of kiss to do it. Now the kit we've actually bought to uh, find out what the problem is, is a radiator and coolant bottle uh, pressure tester. And the first thing you've got to do with all these pieces on here is find out which particular one you've got. Uh, these are VW, Rolls-Royce, uh, Jaguar, Land Rover, Ford, Fiat, Volkswagen, virtually every make of car. You've even got the old fashioned uh, radiator caps, but these are for the expansion tanks. Now I should imagine the Ford one would be that one, looks very similar. So, <clears throat> now because I think there's a problem with the, the top on a Ford, usually the bottle uh, cracks at the bottom, you get hairline cracks. As I said, we replaced that, that was £25 to buy. Uh, I've looked at it with a torch, can't see any cracks on it, and there's no moisture at the bottom, but this level's dropping. <clears throat> so when the engine's cold, engine hasn't been started for about uh, eight hours. Obviously don't do this with a hot engine. Uh, never take the coolant uh, off, the top off with a hot engine. Now obviously try and find out which is the correct top for your car bottle. <clears throat> so that's the old one, but that was a new top. So the thing to do is put the pressure tester on, make sure this is nice and clean, which I have done it a minute ago, but I'm gonna do it again. Just get a rag and make sure there's a damn good seal on top. There's no dirt or debris. Screw that on, make sure you get the thread so you don't cross thread it. Now when it's on, just give it a nice little tight thing that bit's on <clears throat> nice and secure now for the pressure test we're going to use this one and this kit has got everything in it you could possibly have just a minute there is a gauge to tell you what uh, temperature the uh, coolant would be running at if you had a hot, hot engine i'll leave that there now this bit here you can actually refill the cooling system uh, by pressure in and out so you don't have to take the hoses off so it will actually redo it but this is the bit i want to do today so that one clips onto the top of there like that now on on this thing here there's a release valve so when you've got the pressure you want to release it just push that and it will release it the top's firmly on this is on clicks into place now on the gauge what you want to do to start with you want to run it up to the green top of the green and after about 20 minutes, half an hour, it shouldn't lose any pressure at all. That's if your cooling system is not leaking. So, just basically pump it up. We're going up to the edge of the green. And this will tell me if we have got a, a leak in the cooling system. Right, that is on like that. We're going to leave that for at least 15 minutes. I'm going to put the stopwatch on in a minute. Just leave that there. 15 minutes time will come back and it should not have lost any pressure. Now these are the other bits you can get with the, uh, we'll do all that in a minute. But I'm just going to concentrate on that. Once the uh, system has been pressurized, the next thing to do is to get a uh, high power torch what we want to be looking with this pressure ice is any coolant which is leaking from wherever. So you'll see little dribbles of orange coolant. That's what we're looking for. And what you want to do is find a coolant hose and basically follow the whole line to make sure 
Is there any coolant? The coolant obviously will be at the bottom if it's leaking. You've got to find out where it's leaking. So have a good look. So the car's only got uh, 27,000 miles on it. So the hoses should be fine, but you're looking for coolant. So this is the this is the bit you need to be doing with it under pressure, and you'll see the coolant coming out. And that's as dry as a bone at the moment. So it might take some time, but uh, you will find it eventually. Okay, chaps. After about uh, thirty minutes of pressurising. I was hoping it's not this problem. And guess what? I found where it is. It's actually the heater matrix in the car, which is right buried underneath the dashboard. So it's my worst mare nightmare come through. I'm gonna take it all apart because if I can focus that on there a minute, you can see the coolant. Now, if I get the camera to it a bit more, you can see it's soaking wet. The top is the uh, heater matrix. See the orange coolant? So that is where the coolant's going. That's all gonna come out. So I'm gonna take the camera apart to fix it. Which means the dashboard is gonna come out that's one place I didn't want the coolant to be, but say uh, if you've got a Ford or any car and your coolant is going down, it's probably the heater matrix, which is not a good thing to do. Can you imagine how much the dealer would charge you? I reckon this is a two day job. So what's that? 2000 quid? But hey ho, we'll do it ourselves and it's quite easy to do. Well, I've just, uh, Literally found up the uh, Ford main dealership uh, because obviously I now know it's a heater matrix which is buried inside the uh, in the car behind the firewall below the main uh, dashboard. So the whole dashboard's got to come out just to get to the matrix, which is right down the bottom where your feet go, the, the other side of the firewall. I mean, the worst place you can ever put a heater matrix. So the guy tells me at Ford, he said it's the Achilles heel of all Ford cars. They sell loads of heater matrix. He said, how old's your car? So I told him, which isn't that very old. And he said, oh, I'm surprised you've got away with it that long. He said, they all go. Uh, would you believe it? I think they said they sold 67 this week alone and they've only got six left in stock. So it's a part that they sell a lot of. So if you've got a Ford car, keep an eye on your coolant because if your coolant's going down, which makes me think, I mean, the bottle was cracked anyway, but I think the bottle was cracked and the matrix. No, it couldn't have been because that was fine for two months. So I changed the bottle, as you'll see in another video. That was easy to do. Fixed the problem. Drove about 10,000 miles. Didn't, didn't move at all up or down. But the last week and a half, it's been losing coolant. So the heat, heater matrix has gone. But we had noticed the air con inside the car. One half was cold, the other half was warm. So that's got something to do with the heater matrix with the, with the vents. But that's the Achilles heel of Ford's is the heater matrix. So that's, uh, that's problem solved. But look, this, this bit of kit I've used to guy knows the problem, putting it under pressure. Uh, what we did, by the way, first time I took it up to the green left it for about 10 minutes it lasts about uh, one or two psi then to put it under pressure I took it up to uh, just up to up to there just to see if I could see it leaking anywhere in the engine but luckily the whole carpet inside the uh, footwell is slightly damp so it's been leaking for about a week or two weeks problem solved so the next video will be to uh, take all the dashboard out which should be a lot of fun